Okay, so oh. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm on the iPhone still. Peter did a very good job at fixing the G7X. However, the noise that you just heard was him opening it up again. <laughs> and I got pieces. Because there's like one little black speck that he must have missed. So when he went to open the vlog, it had like a big black dot. So just casual. Casual have a Q-tip in my camera through a hole that I drilled into it. I didn't know you drilled that. Yeah, I hand drilled it actually. That's why I had those drill bits on. See? <laughs> I told you guys Peter would take it into his own hands. Did you fix it? What? I think we're good. Okay. It does sound a little crinkly when you open and close yeah, it. Yeah, listen, let's look quick, real quick. You can hear the sand in the motors. But we don't need to buy a new camera. Yet. Yet. So we're gonna go to the bugs and have a relaxed night. Cause I don't know, I think Sarah said it. I did not feel good yesterday. No. I slept for how long did we say? 12 plus four. I slept for 16 hours, guys. That's insane. Yeah, but I feel a lot better, but we still are gonna take it easy. And it's good because the bugs want to take it easy. So we're going to go hang out with them. I got my glasses on. Her eyes, still fighting her. Eve, still crazy as always. But <laughs> we're back. The camera is alive. You don't, I wish I, I should have. But I was too stressed out about it and not feeling well when I was doing it. Should have like recorded it. Because I literally hand drilled. I hand a drill bit in the side of my G7X after taking a piece out. Had a Q-tip in there, vacuum in there. Um, it was crazy. She's like... camera still got some stuff in the lens. Yeah. So we're going to the phones tonight, I think. So we've actually never used this for like vlogging style. So maybe we're gonna love it. Maybe we're gonna love it. It's gonna be like our new thing. This is what resort like this is the setup that Resort TV One does yeah, that's true. for their streams. Um, like they've got the cell phone on a gimbal and everything, and we like the gimbal for our like cinematic shots. I just like the front facing camera on, on or the, the back facing, the back facing camera on the, this iPhone because it shoots 4K. But because of that, I'm looking at the camera itself. I can't see what we're looking at. I can't. Yeah, so I can't see. Ourselves. So we have to trust ourselves, like old school style, without having a selfie, like a, a flip up screen. So hopefully, we're not getting cut off right now. We'll see. fact about this gift shop Sarah absolutely adores it and for some reason I'm always in a rush to get out of it like, but wait. so that looks good I used to get one of these every trip when I was could you imagine if you got one of them every trip now okay you know check it check these lines out check these lines out. you know it's getting to be busy in summertime when that's the kind of lines that the popcorn and the uh, what else we got? Popcorn and pretzel, pretzel stands are pulling in. Hold on a second. We never said why we didn't go to the bus. Oh yeah. So Joy Beth was not feeling well, so we decided that we're gonna rain check and hang out with them another night, and that's why we came here instead. Yeah, we kind of didn't explain. We just jumped like, yeah, we're going to the bugs. Well, that was going to Magic thing, Kingdom. Was we were going to say why after the clip. But, but then the camera fell. But then this. 
You're not gonna believe this. This is gonna be an interesting uh, conceptual vlog for us because here's the gimbal cell phone, which I've already shot one or two shots so far that I either cut my head off or cut off Sarah's chin because of not being able to see, but we're getting used to it. But I'm back on the G7X because now the spot is gone. And I just realized you can see Space Mountain from this spot. Look at this. We just left Big Top, um, what's it called? Souvenir? Souvenir, Big big Top Souvenirs. Two of my managers from my college program work Space there, Mountain, so. Fantasyland, Space Mountain. You're not supposed to see other lands when you're in another land. It kind land. of blends in though. A little bit. Yeah, Sarah has two leaders that she worked under in Frontierland. Who are like my two babes. Who are now here and we always try to, that's, that's the other reason, like we always go in there for free smells, but we also like to see if any of Sarah's old bosses are there. And today there was one there. I don't want to turn the camera off because I'm nervous that spec is going to come back. Look at, look at the crowds. Look at the crowd. It's almost nine o'clock. You know, I had to stop, like I was recording a cool like walkthrough to Adventureland and I had to stop because it was just like bodies, 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 bodies. Should we go back? Let's go see if the, do you want to see if the, if the rocking chairs are available? Because we hadn't really decided where we were going, but we've got about 20, 30 minutes before a Pirates Fast Pass. So we were like, let's go mosey somewhere. Maybe Country Bear, but maybe if the rocking chairs are available, I kind of want that more. Okay. <laughs> A Yankee Doodle. Okay. What the heck? These rocking chairs occupied. Those rocking chairs occupied. Are there rocking chairs anywhere else? Let's find somewhere in Adventureland. To give you an update. Why it looks so greasy, I don't know. It's not hot out. We are doing a time lapse right here. We are at Tortuga Taverns. It's closed, so Sarah's gonna run to Pecos to get some waters for us. Uh, we're just gonna sit here and relax until our Pirates Fast Pass in about 15 minutes. I am really astonished that I was able to get this G7X to work. There's a couple specs that keep coming and going. I just need to get in there real good with a vacuum or a, a little stick and Q-tip fixturing thing. Try to MacGyver my uh, the dust out of there, but it's not like right now I'm using it. It's focusing well, lights good. It's when it like you, it's really gritty when the when the motors start to pull in and push out the lens. Like I have to almost push the lens in when it shuts down, or else it wouldn't shut shut close the lens all the way. <laughs> Everyone's talking about Disneyland's pirates right now because they got the renovation going on and they got and they got the redhead walking around face character style. And they also have like other stuff in the beginning. Um, really? Yeah, this like octopus. <laughs> So now I think we've officially watched them from all the lands. All the lands. All the lands. This was a very unique one. I liked it a lot, but I have to get used to it because I forgot like how far the castle is yeah. to the right from where we were standing. You can't see any projections. The music was actually pretty low, but it was cool for like the carpet to see those alongside. Yeah. We are very much Floridians now because as we, as no we're not <laughs> don't get me excited like that as we were sitting waiting for our fast pass for pirates of the caribbean we're like it's getting a little chilly 
I look at my phone, it's like, oh, it's like 76. It's like, what? We get on Pirates, and we're literally freezing the entire time because the AC. And but the like, flash. And the splashes. But you have to give us, a, like, the humidity has come back. And it's like, it's been getting up to like, the mid to high 90s yeah. during the day. So, yeah. If that's what we are experiencing in the day, but well, it gets on a 75, 20 degree difference between night, day and night, like anybody's gonna feel cold in there. If there's a more than 20 degree difference between daytime and nighttime. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Dustin, you need this for your collection. Let us know in the comments down below who, who wears a hat like that. What other vlogger wears a hat like that? They're good people. Well, oh, wait a minute. Yes, we've gone on this a bunch of times in the past week or two. What's our go-to time eat upper? Along the way, you can preview many of the exciting places you want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. Or, Progress City was the inspiration for Epcot, and many of its forward-thinking ideas have been realized throughout Walt Disney World. Good and relaxing one. Sarah started getting sleepy towards the end there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is my favorite ride. Are you excited? It's been a long time. I put money up by the time we get home, she's gonna she is gonna be ready for bed or ready to fall asleep on the couch in five minutes. Watch all this I might make cherry tea. Um they're having us leave, they had us leave through, not through the gift shop. This is different. And they got these construction walls up. This is super weird. And this is like planned, because this is like a, a permanent fixture. The expansion? Yeah. Weird, and there's the track for the railroad, so like they'd have to stop that for when the train comes through. Yeah. And now we are... Now we're back. We're gonna go this way towards the exit, right? And we'll see what's going on at the shop, but we're back now by the smoking section between uh, Tomorrowland and Storybook, Storybook Circus. Circus. Weird, the store's still open. I wonder what that walkway's about. Oh, but look at... Clearly... This was planned. And that looks like a very long... That looks like it's going to be there for a while. Please let us know down below if you know what's going on. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about them relocating. Reworking it so that it's like more incorporated to that area. Maybe it's like a transitional thing. Yep. It's kind of closed off this way where they're going to want it all to get Huh, yeah, we'll have to see. Wait and see. Guys, the night has come towards an end. Towards an end. Towards an end because <laughs> for the vlog, yes. But we don't know yet if Sarah's tired enough to go to sleep when we get home or if we're going to watch Hocus Pocus or The Grinch because we heard a Grinch, Grinch reference on the boat. Um, they I still, refer to their wheelchair as the cheer cheer. <laughs> I still don't feel 100% but I also slept 16 hours. I know, you're so probably like, that's, I'm like up. I'm like fearful that we're going to get home and I'm like, let's go to sleep. I'm like, okay. And I'm just going to be like this in bed like... <sighs> so... We're just gonna soak in all this beauty. All this beauty and this grace is the United States. <laughs> Look at that pool. I wanna go swimming. Those kids are definitely chasing lizards. A shell. All right, we are home. Sarah's asleep on the couch. She lasted longer than I thought. He was wide awake. But I'm gonna get the dog all set to go to bed and we're just gonna call it a night because I go back to the office tomorrow and Sarah's got some appointments and things that she's got to deal with tomorrow so she's driving me to work. Um, 
So yeah, thank you for following along with us, and uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>